door. Next stop was the uproar. Yeah, it was like a week ago, but we both know how weekends go. Tryna talk, I've got some places we could go. Swear she got the deepest throat. Wow, she's blessed, I'm blessed. I don't G A F O S. Tryna fuck. Yeah. What's going on, guys? This is uh, Mod Star King here from the Mod Star Crew from YouTube and Instagram. What have we got here today? We got the Geek Vape. We just picked up from the local vape shop, and this thing is called the. Aegis or the Regis, whatever you call this thing, this is things an instructable mod. Um, here's what the box looks like. It's a blank box. This does not come with a um, triple six fifty, whatever you call those batteries. It's a good looking box. Um, open this thing up. We got the logo right here, Geek Vape. Sorry about the sticker there. Okay, so put the box to the side. Go on top. What we got in the box? We got the mod itself. We got the accessories inside the box so we pull this out and let's talk about this let's talk about the mod it comes with the mod itself um it comes with the user manual but i don't know what that i don't know what i did with the user manual um it don't come with the 26 650 battery cell um there's a um 18 650 battery adapter that goes on top of this and a silicone spare screw i'll show you that in a minute i'll show you what that does so this thing is 37.8 by 46.8 by 88 millimeters. And the max output is 100 watts. And max firing is 10 seconds before it starts firing. The max voltage during this is 9 volts, 0.1 volts. That's on different ohm reading. Um, out, output mode is um variable waters mode vpc tc tcr mode and a bypass so the bypass should let you do a more of a um more of a uh wattage mode that's what i learned on some other mods so let's go ahead and look at this thing um this part i'm gonna point this off already this part you take this little thing off right here it looks like it's a vent that is for a battery venting and underneath this plate, it's a uh, updatable USB drive, so you can update your USB, or your not update your USB, but update your mod in the future. So you can take that off. And there's a second part. I'll show you that in a minute. So turn this thing around. It has a leather backing to it for a grip. It's not too heavy at all. Really, really light. Does not have the battery in it so far. So it looks like you got some plastic there. You get some rubber. Maybe I don't know if that's plastic or titanium or whatever it is definitely looks like metal some really thick rubber and it is waterproof shockproof and military grade you can throw this against the wall and it will not break and you can swim in the pool with it without the tank on of course now you got this big big fat 510 plate on here with the 510 connection looks like it's a spring loaded 510 you can definitely see that right there um, flip this around the battery doors back here you can flip that open turns has a seal on it so It's nice sealed up so no water can get it in this thing. There you go, that's what the back looks like. It has a little negative spot in the back. A little door handle. Oh, what the big bay battery spot is for that um, 26650. Not for the 18650, but they got the 18650 spacer that goes on top of, on top of there if you do want to have that 18650 option. Now, there's the fire button. Very clicky fire button. Here, that's the mod itself. Has, couple buttons the front of it's plastic put it to the side let's see what's in the box here open this thing up it's down there put a big box for one little thing it's stuck hold on guys it's on the other side there we go okay so this is the 18650 spacer so you can put your 18650 in your device and it comes with the uh, oh, screws falling out of this thing already. You can pick the screw back up off the floor. It goes back in the box. It comes with the extra screws if you in case if you want to update your mod with the USB when you undo this. And it comes, it comes with the extra O-rings for your battery hookup for it. And this little piece right in here. Let me pull this thing out real quick. Come on. Okay. 
this little guy. This is actually your battery venting puncture thing. So like I said, this thing is waterproof. So you don't want no water in this device at all. So they put this inside there in case your battery decides the vent is gonna push a needle up and pop that little gasket. So this is why you need a second one in case your battery does vent so it doesn't burn your mod out and you can have a second one so your mod will be waterproof again. So let's go ahead and put a battery in this thing and show you some features to it. I have this um, battery case we made from the 3D printer by FX Technology. This says take one 18650, so put that to the side. Okay, where's my 18652? So you just slide this over your 18650 just like that. Very snug. I don't think you have to put it right in the middle, but I really think you do. So you just slide it down in there. A little loose, but it's tying it right back up. It's like a mech mod. Flip. Hang on real quick. Flip that little lever so I can get a straight screw on there. The po the positive does go straight in, and the negative goes at the bottom. Flip down top of there like that. And five clicks should turn it on. Then we got it powering on right now. This thing is a 100 watt voltage, so let's go to the bottom and see how fast this thing. It's not really fast going up and down, but there's one voltage. Let's go up to the 100 volts and see how fast it will actually will get to the 100 volts. There you go. It actually goes pretty, pretty, pretty quick. Um, the settings in this is pretty easy. I don't know what's I think I turned it off again. Hope you guys can see this in the video. Let's go ahead and put a tank on this so we can actually show you the settings on this. We're using the X Baby Beast Brother. This the this this put that on there. Okay, so we're in a setting now. Nope. We got the um, TCR mode. All you gotta do is click over TCR mode. Um, titanium, whatever that is. I'm not really a professional. I don't know what this stuff is, honestly. I think your settings on this, we're back to the bypass. That's bypass is your voltage mode. And we're back to that. Now we can go back all the way up to the settings itself. Back to 100. Alright. Sorry about out, out of the frame here. Um, I'm gonna cut the video real quick and I'm gonna be pointing at me so I could be pulling some drags off this thing and I definitely show you the um the hits like how fast the hits can be token on this mod itself. Okay, we're back in my uh, spot here so I can show you what this thing can do as chucking the clouds on this bad boy. Um we got this thing at, this coil is rated at, huh, let me see real quick, um, it's 30 to 50, <laughs> should have done my math before I shot the video, huh? Alright, so I'm going to do the 30 on this, crank this thing at 30, Let's see what this thing hits at at 30. I think the buttons on this are a little bit too close on the, um, too close together so you can press both of them at the same time. Um, I'm gonna do a wide open, actually a half open. I don't know if that does it with the, there we go, it does. Half open, 30 watts, and see what this thing does. There is no delay in like the output when you're inhaling the smoke, it's right there. All right, let's go ahead and turn this up to 50 and wide open. Yeah, 50. Wide open, 50 watts. See what this thing can do. See. All righty. Don't forget, this thing has a very, very clicky button. You can hear that. Hmm. All right, guys. Only in this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, I, and if I lost this mod today, I absolutely go out and buy another one. This thing is awesome. So I'm gonna go. This is Monster Crew and Monster Prince was filming to the credits of him. So I'm out. Keep on vaping and do not smoke.